Operational amplifiers are devices that can be used to solve mathematical problems. By using different combinations of components, it is possible to add, subtract, compare and multiply voltages. The most common device used in schools is a 741. This integrated circuit has eight pins in a DIL layout. The non-inverting input is pin three, the inverting input is pin two, the negative power connection is pin four, the output is pin six, and the positive power is pin seven. Op amps as a comparator. The rules for an op amp comparator are as follows. If the voltage on the positive input is greater than the voltage on the negative input, then the output voltage goes positive. If the voltage on the negative input is greater than the voltage on the positive input, then the output voltage goes negative. If the voltage on both inputs is the same, then the output voltage will be zero. Op amps can be used in a light sensor circuit or a temperature sensor circuit, depending on whether a thermistor or an LDR is attached to it. This can mean you can use it as a night light or a thermostat. Op amps can also be used as an inverting amplifier. Operational amplifiers are very useful for amplifying small signals. This is particularly useful for signals from microphones and guitar pickups. On its own, an op amp has a gain of about 10,000, but often this is too high. Therefore, a couple of resistors are connected to give negative feedback, which tames the gain and reduces it to a manageable level. If RI is your input resistor and RF is the feedback resistor, a diagram is attached. Now the gain is given by the following formula. Gain equals minus RF over RI. Putting an input signal as 1 millivolt into the circuit will give an output voltage of minus 100 millivolts. One of the biggest drawbacks with the operational amplifier is that it often needs to be powered by a split rail power supply. This is why there are three connections, as in the example above, to 9 volts, 0 volts and minus 9 volts.